This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a trough digging in across the northern plains, the northern Rockies. It's going to be bringing us some colder air into the state by late in the week. But in the meantime, we'll have a lot of be a lot of rain across the state. Could see some periods of heavy rain in some areas. Other times where there's no rain, it'll remain mainly cloudy. Highs today will remain mainly in the 60s to lower 70s. And then as we head off into Thursday, we could see a break during the first half of Thursday before more rain comes in with a new low pressure center that's going to be riding along this front to the north and east. That's going to enhance the showers and a few thunderstorms Thursday afternoon into Thursday night into early Friday. And then on Friday, the temperatures will very, be very cold. It'll be very windy as well. It's not going to feel a lot like October. It's going to feel more like November. Highs will struggle in the 50s. Wind chills will be well into the 40s. Lows Friday night, Saturday morning could be into the 30s and lower 40s. And then even on Saturday, highs could still be in the lower and middle 50s across the state with some clouds around, maybe a spit of some rain or so in our northeastern counties. The system finally moves far enough to the north and east that we should see some sunshine here by Sunday. And temperatures should rebound at least to the upper 50s to middle 60s across the state, maybe a bit warmer than that. But on Monday, that low pressure center is starting to come back south again and that could bring a disturbance that could bring a few more clouds and maybe a shower around high still remaining around 60 at this point maybe some upper 50s and that could even continue into tuesday although most of the precipitation will be off in the great lakes and into the north and east but it's still going to remain quite chilly across the area then as we go into next wednesday you can still see that upper level feature over uh, eastern canada james bay quebec ontario Still keeping a flow out of the west-northwest over from southwestern Canada. So that's going to keep temperatures a couple degrees below seasonal levels for the time being. Although by next Wednesday night especially, the winds could start to turn southerly and we could see temperatures warming back to near seasonal levels in the mid to upper 60s. Going into the extended period, this is a big change, big ridge over the west. Big trough over the center part of the country. In fact, a very distinct trough positively tilted this is going to bring a very big dump of cold air down across the country including the state of iowa and this could bring us some widespread frost if this is right and if this is also correct this could bring us maybe a wintry mix or so but it's still too far out there to discern that at this point and you can see by the end of the forecast on the 17th you can see pretty much the flow coming out of the north and west around the 16th to the 17th. And that will keep temperatures near seasonal levels with the system moving through just to our north and northeast. While areas from the state to the south and west look to be mainly dry and seasonal as well. Satellite image from last evening. We had a, the first low pressure center over the northern plains. That's moving up into Canada. The new storm will be developing to our south and west and riding along this slow advancing front. You can see some showers and storms across southeastern Nebraska. And they've had a lot of flash flooding over there around Lincoln down to Beatrice and a little southwest of there. Some snow advisories up in the Colorado Rockies. A freeze warning in northern California. Heat advisory in southern California. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock showing rainfall amounts across the state around an inch, give or take a half an inch or so. Heaviest across northern Missouri where they could see two to maybe four or five inches of rain in that part of the area.